everyone, we're back again. Now, yesterday we posted a video which was the Shearwater Terek run through. We sort of looked at some of the features uh, that the Shearwater Terek has. And today I want to spend a couple of minutes just going through some of the um, app based features. Uh, Shearwater have an application, it's called Shearwater Cloud. They've got a desktop uh, app and they've also got a mobile app that can be downloaded in the iOS App Store and also Android. And I really wanted to look at sort of some of the features of what's on there and how easy it was to connect some of the stats and how you can view your dive logs. So let's take a quick look at that feature. to connect uh, I just turned the Bluetooth on on the dive computer and obviously on, on my phone uh, entered the app it found the computer straight away and it allowed me to download the dives that I have completed so far so there are the dives that were downloaded onto the app on the phone let's take a look at I don't know let's say number nine so what have we got uh, we've got a little chart here um, it's some boxes that you could okay so you can select these different boxes gives us lots of information let's take off the CNS the O2 and the pressure uh, and it looks like we can move yes we can we can move that blue bar along so it's given us the time um, our low deco limit the TTS uh, the depth of that point the temperature and the gradient factor that we were on gas in there it changes to 1% there and up to 16% towards the end. Um, yeah, it's so lots of information. It's great that you can customize it. You can see uh, particular uh, items on that chart. Uh, dive detail, so it just gives us a date, time, maximum depth, average depth, dive length. You can, oh, actually you can edit the location, the dive site, the name of your buddy, Add some notes, that's cool. If we scroll across, oh, if we scroll across to environment details, we could add in some information there, what the weather was like, uh, the environment, the conditions, the temperature. Uh, obviously any, any notes relating to environment. Gas details, gives us our start, uh, and our end pressure. I was I had this in PSI at the time because obviously I was uh, when I used this I was, I was in Antigua, so I referred to everything on the boat in PSI. So I switched it over just so that I was on the same uh, on the same sheet as uh, everyone else that was asking me what my gas was. I uh, got my uh, sack rate there. Uh, you can add in details about what you were wearing, your tank size, what weights, gear notes. Any issues, problems, and it's obviously given me the model number and all of the details around the Terek that I was using. So that's really cool. I uh, wasn't expecting that much detail in there. Uh, it's a if, if you're not down with having a, a paper-based app, uh, sorry, a paper-based uh, logbook, and there's more than uh, enough information that you can add in here. Um, if we look at let's look at stats. Um, Total underwater time, 20 hours, deepest dive, 208.5 meters. I'm going to suspect that that was most definitely the pressure testing before it was out for sale, because I certainly haven't done 200 meters on a dive. Um, yeah, it's not really giving me any different information when I select the different um, uh, categories. Total underwater time, 14 hours, 19 minutes. Longest dive, 13 hours. I'm also going to suspect that that was most definitely the um, uh, pressure test dive that uh, that it did before. Oh yeah, there we go. So when I go into year, it's showing me that in 2019, which is the year that I've used it, it's done six hours and eight minutes of dive, deepest dive, 21 minutes. Uh, and the deepest dive in 2018 was 14 hours 19 minutes uh, sorry longest uh, total underwater time 14 hours 19 minutes deepest dive 208 meters uh, so that will most definitely be the um, pressure testing before it was released for sale okay so there's some good information in there 
Um, and that's it really. You obviously select connect at the bottom to uh, download your dives, update your firmware, and obviously disconnect from the Bluetooth, which is great. It's really important to keep the firmware up to date. It obviously um, reduces and removes any bugs that you might have in the system. Uh, you've got profile there. And a more, you, it's got a quick start guide, privacy policy terms, conditions, and a contact us. Well, so there we go, that was pretty easy. I've connected a number of different dive computers to apps in the past. Some were very easy, some were more difficult to try and work out. I've got to say that the Shearwater Cloud app it's really easy to use. It was fast, simple, no real um, connection issues. It's synced nice and easy. The information that I can see from the dives that I got off the Shearwater Terek, lots of information in there. There's lots of customization that I can uh, pull off and add in around about what I was wearing, who I was diving with, what the conditions were like. So if you've got a Shearwater product, and you haven't downloaded the app before, I'd certainly recommend it, certainly give it a look. Uh, yeah, from a, from a logbook perspective, yeah, it's great. I don't think you really need anything more. Uh, so with that, I'm gonna sign off today. Uh, as always, guys, do click, click that subscribe button, click that little bell icon to be notified for future videos. If you found this video useful, give it a little thumbs up, and I will look forward to speaking to you very, very soon in the next review. Cheers, guys, see you later.